How's this? Okay, we're at Beth Shemesh in the Sorg Valley, and across from us is the towns of Zora and Eshtal, where the Spirit of the Lord first began to move on Samson. Most of Samson's life and his escapades occurred here in the Sorek. Over there is where Delilah's from, and where he set the fields on fire with the foxes. This here is Samson's favorite weapon, which he used to strike down several hundred of the Philistines. We're at the ancient site of Azekah, looking out over the Elah Valley. This is where the Philistines were encamped when David fought Goliath between Azekah and Socal. I think I'm a dog. You come at me with your stones and sticks. May all of your descendants be short. <laughs> you come to me with sword and spear, but I came come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel. Ow. <laughs> we're overlooking the Ela Valley and we're standing on the site of Khirbet Kiafa, also known as the Ela Fortress. And across the valley, the Ela Valley, we can see uh, the biblical site of Azekah. And in David's account of his fight against Goliath, the Philistines were encamped between Azekah and Sukkot. And they were encamped in a place called Ephes Damim, which could be this location. They were still at the Ela Fortress, and the Ela Valley is behind us, and be, on the other side is the um, site of Sukkot. Archaeologists have found two gates at this site, so they suggest that it is Sha'arim, which means two gates. And when David defeated Goliath, the Philistines fled through Sha'arim. We're crawling through caves that were carved by the Jewish resistors in the time of Bar Kokhba. Uh, Hi everyone, we're at Bet Guvreen at a amphitheater which is a small coliseum, and here they had Roman gladiator games. On the right, the Blues Brothers from Los Angeles. Yeah. And on the left, the brothers from the Beltway, John and John. Behind me is Tel Lakish a city that was conquered in the days of Hezekiah by Sennacherib, king of Assyria. We are at Lachish, which was a main Judean fortress in the western foothills of Judah. The prophet Jeremiah said that when the Babylonians were sieging Judah, that only three cities were left, Jerusalem, Azekah, and the city Lachish. A striking archaeological parallel was found here at Lachish. It was a pot shard with writing on it found in the gate that mentions both the city of Azekah and Lachish. We are here at Gath of the Philistines, hometown of Goliath. David fled here from Saul, and to get away from the Philistines, he had to act like he was crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> we have brought David to you. Do I lack crazy people that you need to bring me more? Get him away. As a result of this event, David was inspired to write Psalms 34 and 56. We're at the caves of Adullam, where David hid from Saul. I'm in a cave of Adullam. Oh my goodness. We're at ancient Gezer on a Solomonic gate. Where's the body? Go. Thank you. Right. Go. You think I'm a dog? You come out with stones and sticks. Oh, I'm supposed to curse him in the name of Dagon now. <laughs> <laughs> About the same time that Samson lived, the Philistines had captured the Ark. And two counts, it returned to Judah. It returned to Judah. About the same time that Samson was ruling, straight up the Sorek Valley, here to the edge of Beth Shemesh. That's Beth, Beth Shemesh. A striking archaeological parallel was found here in the gate of Lachish. Um. We're overlooking the Ela Valley. We're standing on uh, the site of Kiryat 